You've hardly changed, to my eyes. You're saying I'm like him. No need to throw it in my face. <laughs> him. So why do you look like that? Logos was the male persona, and Numa the female one. Ah, I should have played the other games. Somewhere between. Should have played the other games. The Trinity processor. It all adds up to me. I see. Does Matthew know? Well, uh, well, Harry doesn't, so that doesn't really matter, so about does it? Not. You and Alpha. What happened? How did you split apart? Not sure I know who it Alpha is. Unforeseen. For that Mobius and man to have that kind of power. To my fortune, it unshackled me from the chains of Ontos. Chains. Bad chains. As you may know, and this is surely evident to you, Shulk. But origin, it's based upon the architecture of Ontos's core. Stop saying stuff we all know. Is that little Shulk? I heard about that from Melia. A gift from Alvis, she called it. I know who Melia is! Ontos was the Arbiter. And thus, was predicated on the existence, or perhaps the opinions, of the others, Logos and Numa. In short, without Thanks. the two of them present, Ontos was just a machine. My original, he was shaped by Klaus. Great. And shouldered the man's regret as he was born into that world. Hence, he was able to help you. But he is no longer. The me that has left is just a machine. And machines know no sympathy. That's why he took steps to erase this world. To create a new future in its place. Debris so of the past and the noise that permeates the present. Your lives are to him redundant. His conclusion that only new life, that of the people of the city, ought to be preserved. Ontos proclaimed himself Alpha. Okay, and chose to I was going to say, is Ontos shepherding the citizens alpha. along with him? Okay, so Ontos was like raising the old world in his wake. There'll be time for this in a moment. However. Ben's intrusion caused something of a setback. Your boy. That is not all it did. In any case, I was able to separate from Alpha. The memories of traveling with you, and all other faint recollections, they composed me. Hmm. You could call me his conscience. I think we will, for so, ease of understanding. Here's what this conscience or whatever is saying. There's no life that deserves to be left behind. All life is worth saving, more or less. Yes, that's the gist of it. I suspect that if Logos or Numa were here now, they would surely say the same thing. Yeah, I bet. So why tag along with the kid? You've good reason, don't you? For Alpha to command some form of power in this world, I'm trying he so needs hard. a body to inhabit. Yes. Like how Zamza once lived in you, and Matthew's sister. Wh what's this? There's I don't. I, I genuinely oh, don't know. Land. Get Riku on it. Thank God we upgraded our X-reader. Otherwise, otherwise we would have been completely overpowered by this demigod. Looks like Niel. I've come to fetch you. Matthew. Sounds like Niel, right? <gasps> come. It's time to go. Right. Numa. Logos and Ontos were sort of three aspects of an entity, right, that had sort of physical forms. But something happened to the other two, couldn't quite follow that. And Ontos essentially just worked as a machine and decided that the whole world should sort of start again. We're going to take all the people from the city because they're the only worthy people away from here. 
and they took on a new form that they called called alpha. A is an aspect of alpha, like the conscience of alpha that's separated from them. And then there was a load of stuff that I just didn't follow. Gaming. <laughs> 